Hello, and thank you for joining our Jamf Pro Reporting Solutions series, where we highlight BI and reporting tools that integrate with Jamf Pro. This is part two for Splunk. Jamf Pro is the leading Apple device management solution for IT professionals, and Splunk is the gold standard for data collection, analysis, and getting insights into your environment. With the Jamf Pro Splunk app, admins will be able to make dashboards that show devices, hardware and management information, and time series events. You'll need a few things on hand to get started. You'll need a Jamf Pro instance, a Splunk instance, and you'll have needed to install the Jamf Splunk app, as we showed in our last video. Let's get our first data pull done. Begin by selecting the green Create New Input in the upper right-hand corner. And it'll be presented with this form. The first field is the name. This is just the name within this page right here. It's not used anywhere else. However, I do like to keep it the same as the name of the modular input. Next is your interval. This is a number of seconds between data pulls. I will discuss polling strategies in a different video, but in this case, I'm going to choose a weekly poll. Next, you have your index to speed up searches, and then you have your JSS URL. This is the location of your Jamf Pro server. If you are running on a non-standard port, such as 8443, like in this case, make sure to toss a colon in that number. Then you have your username and password. We have three different types of methods. You have the API call, which is computers, mobile devices, or custom API. Computers is an advanced computer search, mobile devices an advanced mobile search, and a custom API allows you to bring in other information. If you consult this page, it gives you all the information about what extra data is brought to the party. Just go ahead and copy paste this from this page right into there and then click Add. Once you get to this page, we need to make sure that the data is pulling. Start by selecting Search, and when that page loads, select the data summary. In some cases, you'll be able to actually see that the last data was loaded a few seconds ago, but in this case it didn't, so select Data Summary. Select your host, and you'll be able to see all the data. As you can see, the data is pulling in. You can see the source that we used and the information that it collected. Next, we're going to take a look at how the information is formatted and how to make a dashboard out of it. To learn more about Jamf Pro integrations, like Splunk, make sure to check out the Jamf Marketplace. Jamf's technical paper on integrating Splunk with both Jamf Pro and Jamf Protect can be found at the address on your screen.